I think the importance of a community art center in creating a community cannot be overstated. There has to be uh, some way for people to get together and celebrate their own creativity, uh, their own aesthetic decision making. All of those things are so important. We can have a city, we can have a town, we can have a, uh, all kinds of things will make that happen, right? But what really makes it a community is when people come together or bond together by, by a joint interest, and especially something as powerful as the arts. And I think that's an important role that, that uh, an institution like this plays uh, for a community like Ames. And Ames is a, a city that's growing and changing and evolving and getting better and better. And I think that, that the octagon reflects that. It's such a fabulous place, but it's much more than it was in 1984 and 1985. And it's more than it was 10 years ago. And that's an exciting thing for the city of Ames. On many levels, everyone is an artist, and everyone has an artist inside them that's just waiting to be developed. And the beauty of uh, community art classes, of adult education classes, is that opportunity to just go and be creative. Not to be judged, not to be told how good you are or anything else, but just to go and do it and have fun and to, and to feel that enrichment that comes from being creative. Everybody wants beauty and the world is meant to be beautiful and when a community comes together and can appreciate what other people have made in the community or the art that other people have created, it can symbolize what's going on at that time or um, how people are feeling and bring people together to understand what those people are creating and why they're creating it. So The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe has always been one of my favorite series and the movies and the books. This painting is um, symbolic of uh, my cousin that I lost a few weeks ago. He was going to play Mr. Beaver in his school musical. The beaver represents him, my cousin, and then Aslan, the lion, represents the savior. When I started this picture, um, I was still dealing with a lot of the grief and the hurt that I had felt over the last few weeks. I started using a lot of darker colors just because that was kind of the mood I was in. It was kind of a low place. As I started working through it, I started thinking and realizing that like this is a beautiful place and he's in a better place now and I decided to change the colors to more happy. It was really healing to me just to release all that emotion I had into this painting. And I ended up giving it to my aunt. The difference between a painting or just telling them like I love you, like the painting will last forever and I hope it's a way that they can help heal and remember that they're loved. I think people make art because it makes them whole. It makes them feel complete. It makes them feel like there's a center to their lives. A lot of people feel that art deals with media and art doesn't necessarily deal with media. It deals with uh, language and uh, it can deal with movement and with uh, playing and um, emotion. So I guess that's one of the reasons why the Octagon is so important is that it provides an opportunity for you to see that art is not just this one dimension, there are a lot of dimensions. The Octagon also provides avenues for parents and uh, adults to express themselves uh, to get out for the evening. It's another area of entertainment. It can also be a social factor in that um, friends can get together or you meet new friends. What impresses me about the Octagon after this many years, um, I would say one thing is the community gallery that we're sitting in right now. Um, with, you know, the, now that 
the Octagon has the ability to host these one person exhibitions a lot more easily. And it's uh, on the ground, you know, street height, street level uh, gallery that will allow uh, people from outside to like be able to look in the window and know that there's art going on here. There's so many things that the Octagon does or at least takes part in. They do the biennial, they do a community art show. I always enjoy that because that's when you're surprised as to how many uh, good artists there are in this area. So the Octagon with the multiple opportunities for connecting people with the arts, uh, such as the, uh, um, the Arts Festival, the clay paper fiber show, the exhibitions in a community gallery, and all these things. That's through it, all these multiple opportunities for people to be connected with the arts, I think is what makes the Octagon so strong. It's an opportunity for people to see things that are completely different than what they hope to think is art. You could tell that this was put together by people giving their time to create this. It gives everyone the chance to go uh, explore that part of who they are and to have fun. I like making art because it's fun. That's exactly what I said. I think the Octagon has really been a means to bring together the observers as well as the creators um, of people from different ages, backgrounds, cultures, and it's just really been a means to bring all of these people in our community together.